Hello friends, welcome to Hello English. My name is Rupam and in today's video we will discuss about some common misconception which we all have about English. It is a common factor for all of us, believe me. And this misconception is not allowing us to speak good English. It is not helping us at all. It is like an obstacle, you know, a barrier. Every English learner has this problem. And that is why we lag behind. We are unable to go ahead with English. So let's begin. Yes, if you like my video, please do subscribe. The first misconception is that I am from a Hindi medium school. I am from an SMS medium school. I am from Bengali medium school or a Kannada medium school. So how will I learn English? I have not learned English in, a, in my school properly. So it is not possible to learn English. This is the first misconception. Many people think that. Well, I can tell you, everyone, everyone can learn English. One example I will give you. I have my own cousin. Okay. They studied in SMS medium school. Believe me. They studied in SMS medium school. They went to colleges. And today, they are in America. They are working in English environment. They have to speak in English every day. So how it was possible? It is only because of mindset. They never allowed that to be their weakness. Okay? So you should not think that if you studied in any medium school and you cannot learn English. Up Hindi medium se bhi English sik sakte ho. It's all your wish. What matters most is that how much curious you are. How passionate you are about learning this language. Next comes the family problem. Well, I am not from a good family. I am from a small town. I am smaller from a small remote village. Or a small hill station. How can I learn English? Well, I, I am from a very small town. So I can speak English. Why can't you? You can also do that. I am here to motivate you and to help you. You can be from a rich family. You can be from a poor family. You can be from a city. Or you can be from a small town. That doesn't matter. You should have that desire that I have to learn. You should be passionate. You should be curious to learn the language. And yes, you should have love for that language. Next we come that many people think I'm old. I have a lot of family responsibility. I'm very busy. I'm a housewife. I have kids. So it is not possible for me to learn English. It is not possible to take out time and learn English speaking. Well, everyone in this planet can find out some time for himself or herself. Five minutes, ten minutes, you can manage, right? So if you can manage that ten minutes, at the end of one month, ten into thirty, three hundred minutes you get. 300 minutes is well enough to start learning English. It's never too late, my dear. I'm also a music teacher. Okay, I teach guitar. I have two students. Okay, one of them have retired from army and he's learning guitar with me. And one is a old lady. If my guess is correct, she will be around 70. She is learning guitar with me for the last two years and she is doing very good. Why can't you? It's not only learning guitar. Anything is possible. You just have to stay young 
in your mind. You can learn a language at any time, in any age, but to become fluent in English, you have to start from childhood. This is a very big misconception, my dear. That is not correct. I will show you one video now. You know Kapil Dev, right? Our former captain who won the World Cup, Cricket World Cup. While playing the World Cup, he didn't know English. His English was very weak, very poor. And the selectors thought, how can someone without knowing English can become a captain of this cricket team? Just see the interview for one minute non-speaking Indian captain who couldn't speak English and selector was worried how can we make Kapil Dev captain I still remember how can we make Kapil Dev captain he can't speak English in my mind I said that bring a person from Oxford or Cambridge he will speak I'll play went to Australia, he said, you come here to die. I said, no, I come here to play. My senior, Venkat Rag, once said, no, he's saying, have you come here today? <laughs> Got it? Researchers have found that you can learn anything and everything at any age. Okay? It's all in our mind. Next, I don't know grammar. How can I learn English? My dear friend, if you want to become an English teacher, yes, you have to learn grammar. But if you want to become a speaker, if you want to speak English for yourself, for your family, or to talk in your office or in your college, it is not at all important to learn the grammar concept. You should be eager to learn the language. And you should be courageous. If you make mistake, you should think that's okay. Maybe today I'm making mistake. Tomorrow my day will come. This is how slowly, slowly you will learn the grammars also. How a child speak. How a baby learns. Just by listening, right? And observing. When you talk in front of a kid or a baby, you just see how curiously they will look at you. That is how they learn. And slowly, slowly when they grow, their grammar becomes okay. Before going to school only, they can speak their mother tongue without any mistake, fluently. So you should take it in your mind that I don't know grammar, that's all right. But I'm in the process of learning and no one can stop me. I have made one video on this. Check on the link. This is the video. You can go to my channel and check it out. Next, I don't have an environment to speak English. I stay in such a place where if I speak in English, people will think that I am mad or I am crazy. Let them think, what is your problem? If you have the strong willpower okay, to see yourself that you, you are fluent in English in next two years or one year, you have to start today. Listen, write, read, speak everything in English. At, at the beginning, people may think, what is going on? But slowly, slowly, they will understand that you are in a mission. Your mission is to learn English. If you are dedicated, if you are determined, no one can stop you. Next. I am from a poor family. I don't have money to buy books. I cannot go to some coaching class to learn English. How can I learn English? So I will not learn. This is some misconception. I will tell you my dear friends, nowadays mobile is common. Internet is common. Everyone has that. You have the mobile, you have the internet. Who can stop you? Tell me. Go to Google, go to YouTube, search for some easy videos, basic learning English videos and start. Keep practicing every day. You see 
how far you can go. I will tell you one thing, my dear friend. When you learn English properly, no, there are so many opportunities coming up, comes for you. You get good salary in your job. You get promotions. People will recognize you. People will come to you to learn English. How good it feels. So, my dear friend, these are the few points which I wanted to share with you today. Misconceptions are all a mind game. Take it out and start learning English. You can do it, I believe. Okay? Any question you have, please write to me. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much.